The jump on the serve is frequently used by coaches as a measuring tool to evaluate the ability of the player to display power, explosive strength and athletic skills. The jump on the serve looks simple, but it requires the proper technique to raise one's center of gravity towards the ball. The faster the initial upward velocity, the longer it will take for gravity to decelerate the body. If the acceleration phase is too short or too weak, this will cause the early deceleration and the body will not stay up as long as needed to hit the ball with power and control. The forward motion is divided into three parts, strength, explosiveness and rhythm. In this session, we will put a lot of emphasis on the importance of the leading leg in the explosive part of the movement. The jump on the serve looks easy, but it requires the proper technique and tempo. The extensor muscles of the hips and knees and the plantar flexors of the ankle contract eccentrically to allow the knees and hips to flex and the ankles to dorsiflex simultaneously in the preparation phase. Players must have the ability to store energy. The trick to take advantage of that elastic strength is to release it with the proper timing to prevent the energy from dissipating. The back leg produces the initial movement and the back hip tilts forward creating the original explosive move. The front leg is the most important part of the forward serving motion. When this leg drives the body towards the ball, the power is converted into hip and shoulder separation. These movements help to get maximum height at contact point. The back leg ground reaction forces has no significant correlation to the power. Actually, the front leg reaction forces predict the velocity of the serve. That is why that front leg has to be extended as the player goes up for the ball. On the serve, there is a smaller hip flexion. The knee flexion angle is more important. From the trophy position, as the player starts to jump, the leading knee will exhibit flexion angular velocity. That leading knee will have greater peak extension. That leading leg peaks with greater ground reaction forces. The proper acceleration to get off the ground, to go up for the ball, requires explosive powerful and push it into the ground. If the acceleration phase is too short or weak, this will cause early deceleration and the body will not stay up as long as needed to hit the ball with power and control. Drills are important to acquire the right technique on the jump. I will show you two drills that can help the player Get the necessary feel to get off the ground with strength, explosiveness and rhythm. These drills can be done daily before practicing the surf. 8 to 15 reps are recommended. On the first drill, the player will concentrate on the knee flexion while loading. Then, on the jump, the emphasis will be on the explosive power generated by the flexion angular velocity of the leading knee. The front leg will be extended, generating graded reaction forces. The second drill works on the action phase. It involves the simultaneous extension of the hips and knees and plantar flexion of the ankles. These joints will drive the body vertically towards the ball.